In this video, we're going to prove that the sequence 1 over 2n converges to 0. So first we need to recall the definition of convergence. So we say that a sequence a sub n converges to L if uh, for all epsilon greater than zero, so the upside down a means for all, there exists a positive integer n, so there exists an n in the set of positive integers, so this means there exists, and this is the set of positive integers, and this means is in, such that uh, for all little n bigger than capital N, uh, the terms of a sub n get really close to the limit. So the distance, so the absolute value of a sub n minus l can be made small. How small? Smaller than epsilon for any epsilon. So if you can make the distance small for any epsilon, then that means you can get as small as you like. So you can get as close as you like. So let's go ahead and work through this. First, we're going to figure out the proof and then we're going to prove it. So scratch work. So we'll start by figuring out the proof. This is the scratch work, this is not really the proof. So we're gonna work backwards. So we'll have an epsilon greater than zero, and we need an integer n, we need n, such that a sub n minus l is less than epsilon. Well, our a sub n is this, and our l is zero. And we want this to be less than epsilon. So what is this? This is the absolute value of one over two n, n here is a positive integer because it's bigger than a positive integer so it's positive so this whole fraction is positive so we don't really need the absolute values and we want this to be less than epsilon that's what we want we're trying to to figure it out so now um, we can solve this for n um, i guess let me write it down here one over two n less than epsilon so you can just multiply by n so times n times n these cancels, so we have one half less than epsilon times n. And then we can divide by epsilon or multiply by one over epsilon like this. Right, epsilon is positive, so there's no issues. So we have one over two epsilon is less than n. If we write that backwards, that means that n is bigger than one over two epsilon. So we need an n bigger than this. So we can actually choose a capital N that's bigger than that. There's something called uh, the Archimedean principle, which says that whenever you have a number, you can find a number that's bigger, a natural number. So uh, we'll be able to just say, choose a natural number bigger than this in the proof. So that's our n. Our n is a number bigger than this. Let's go ahead and do the proof. I'll, I'll squeeze it in uh, right here because the definition is up here. I want to keep it in in mind as we go through it. So we'll start the proof um, by letting epsilon be greater than zero. So let epsilon be greater than zero. And we need to find uh, a positive integer. So we can choose that via the Archimedean principle. So choose n you know, uh, bigger than one over two epsilon. So choose a positive integer n, I didn't say it, uh, bigger than one over two epsilon by the Archimedean principle. Then, then now we're gonna satisfy this part. For all little n bigger than capital N, let's look at the distance between a sub n and l. So 1 over 2n minus 0. So this is just you know following a series of steps, 1 over 2n. And let's be a little bit better now. So we want to show that this is less than epsilon. So let's pause for a moment and let's look at what we've done. So note n is bigger than n the big N, which is bigger than one over two epsilon. And we're trying to show one over two N is less than epsilon. So let's, let's work backwards here. So this means that N is bigger than one over two epsilon. So multiplying by epsilon and dividing by N gives us epsilon greater than one over two N. Again, multiplying by epsilon Boom, and then dividing by n gives us this. So one over two n is less than epsilon. So let's go ahead and just write it again. So thus, for all n bigger than capital N, the absolute value of one over two n minus zero, that's equal to one over two n 
which we just showed in the line above, is less than epsilon. And that completes the proof. Why? Well, because we showed that for any epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer capital N, such that for all little n greater than capital N, the distance between our sequence and its limit can be made small. How small? Less than epsilon. I hope this video has been helpful.